Well, hey everybody and welcome back to Kiki's Kitchen. Um, I am not gonna show you anything elaborate today. I'm gonna show you quickly how to make a cute little tree out of a watermelon. Um, I have taken my watermelon and cut it in half horizontally, lengthwise, and then I cut that in half. I should have showed you this as I was going, but it didn't occur to me to, to, to bring in on this one until I got this far into it. So I cut it in half lengthwise, and then I cut it in half this way, and I'm just making wedges, that's all. But out of my wedges, I am making little trees, and they're just cute, and I thought you might wanna see it. There are other ways to do this, but little tree, isn't that so cute? So you have a wedge, little wedge, and you just cut your, 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 your tree trunk out and then cut the sides off. And ta-da, you have the cutest little tree. And um, I am also going to put mint on my trees. So um, let me just show you that real quick. But all I'm doing is taking a wedge and then I'm cutting into the middle to make a little tree trunk. Cutting the white off, so I'm cutting the outside square off. See, and just taking the bottom off and making a little tree. They're cute. So then after what, what I discovered long ago, actually, and I didn't discover it, I cannot take credit for it, my sister did. And she read it somewhere in a magazine or something. Um, it could have been her own brilliant, her own brilliance for all I know. But what she um, she came up with was putting fresh mint, just sprinkling it over your um, watermelon. And so that is what I'm going to do here in just a second. When I finish my little trees, it has been so unbelievably hot. And I'll tell you what, my husband comes in and he is so hot and I'm watermelon. Watermelon is just that thing that really, I mean, it hydrates, it's refreshing. And we've had some really good ones. And I've been getting most of mine at Aldi, to tell you the truth. Okay, so let me run outside and grab some mint and I'll be right back. Hang on. Okay, so I have my spearmint, and um, I'm gonna just take it off of the, the little vine thing. Oh, it smells delicious. And I am going to, now, truthfully, it's got a kind of a tougher leaf to it. Um, I love this because I want it cut up finely. I want it truly sprinkled over the watermelon. I'm telling you, it is such a wonderful combination. And uh, even our kids like it, and our kids don't like nothing. <laughs> and that's the truth. <clears throat> but they do, they do like this. Um, I think at first it was kind of like, what's that green stuff? Because God forbid we snuck a vegetable in on them somewhere. But I want this kind of diced up small. And it also looks really pretty on top of the ring. And it looks good. My poor fingers are just cramping up. And I'm not sure why. I mean, I was in the heat today, but I thought I'd been drinking pretty good. So here is my pretty forest of watermelon. And I'm gonna just sprinkle. Make sure every tree gets a little bit. And I'm telling you, if you've never done it with mint before, just try it, just try it. Be bold, be brave. What's the worst thing that can happen? Plus, I'm telling you, I know you'll like it because it's just that good. Woo. My 
poor little fingers. Uh, and next week, or maybe even this week, because I'll do what I can, because I've got a busy week too, um, but I, I wanted to get a watermelon salad, because I got the stuff to make it for you, the feta and all that stuff. So maybe I'll be able to, to get that for you. But that is a very simple, ooh, little trick. And they're just cheap, aren't they? My little watermelon trees. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye.